गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया हेयर डायग्राम ऑफ माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इज गिवन यू हैव सीन दट माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया हैव टू मेम्ब्रेन आउटर मेम्ब्रेन एंड इनर मेम्ब्रेन आउटर मेम्ब्रेन इज पोरस इन नेचर पोरस मीन्स हैविंग होल्स होल्स are basically used to take material in and out of the cell the inner membrane is deeply folded you have seen here the inner membrane is deeply folded and inner membrane increases the surface area for atp synthesis this atp is known as the energy currency of the cell mitochondria produces atp that is adenosine triphosphate that's why we called mitochondria is the power house of the cell mitochondria have their own dna and genetic material so other than nucleus mitochondria is the uh, another cell organelle that have their own genetic material that is dna and have ribosomes ribosomes are basically used to for synthesis of proteins the next cell organelle that is plastid plastid is only present in plant cells and there are two types of plastids chromoplast as i told you in chapter number 2 chroma is a greek word which means color so chromoplast are colored plastids and leucoplast are colorless or white plastids plastid with chlorophyll pigment chlorophyll is a green color pigment are called as chloroplast they can be green red yellow brown depending upon the types of pigment chloroplast are known as kitchen of the cell it helps in synthesis of food by the process of photosynthesis lactoplast lactoplast stored material such as starch oil and protein chromoplast impart colors to flower which helps in pollination this is a diagram of chloroplast you have seen some coin like structures arranged parallel to each other these coin like structures we called grana you have seen a line connecting two grana or two or more grana with each other this line is called stromal lamellae and at the back of this you have seen some dark colored cavity this is called stroma s t r o m a stoma stromal lamellae s t r o m a l l a m e l l a e thank you